This is our Forex blog for April 7th, 2011. And, you know, like most days, we really want to buy the strongest currencies versus the weakest uh, and sell the weakest currencies versus the strongest. You know, the dollar and the yen are the two weakest currencies. The weekly and monthly trend of the yen is a little bit weaker. Uh, but the yen's been, you know, going down for many, many days in a row, probably seven, eight, nine, or, you know, plus or minus a day of a possible pullback. Uh, it was just getting weak. So, obviously, after being weak for so long, if you see some strength, it's very likely to last a couple hours. So even though the longer term trends down, if you see intense strength, you certainly can uh, buy that currency against uh, one of the weaker currencies. As you can see coming into midnight, the previously strong euro, uh, which also was up you know, quite a bit, quite a bit over the last two weeks, uh, had intense weakness. So you know you can take stabs at selling. Uh, the weak euro against this, the temporarily today stronger yen. Here's a tick chart of this. You can see the price came down to the hourly. Normally it finds support there and continues its uptrend. And when it doesn't, you know, usually you have a pretty decent uh, stab on the, the downside. This trade right here, normally we'd look to sell it, but we have a Fibonacci area that is very high probability, likely to be some buying somewhere in this zone down here, uh, which is you know, only 10, 15 pips underneath. So if you did take that trade, realize it's not likely to make that much money. Uh, you can see it price went a little bit below. It came back up, went sideways right here. Once a, a support area gets broken, it is a pretty high probability place to sell right here. And you have the Fibonacci profit target of the first wave down uh, ahead of time, giving yourself, you know, a likely profit target. If you sold this, you know, when it broke down right here at 70, your profit targets down here at 36, right? So you got a 34 pip potential profit. Uh, and if it goes through that, then this is likely to be the end of the move down here near 17, which guess what? It was the end of the move. Now, you saw this fall, it didn't have off the charts uh, statistical weakness, which means a lot of times when the longer term trends up, you can actually buy uh, the Fibonacci profit targets after one wave down, two waves down, you know, you look to buy down there near 6.30 to 7.30. Here's a tick chart using our new faster FX Scalper Pro. And let me just give you an idea of, you know, what the tick chart looked like uh, down there uh, at that time. So the price came down. Here was uh, the first FIB target. Here's the second FIB target. You might have waited a little bit. You never know how currencies handle the lows or handle the highs. Sometimes they just keep trending and trending. But once the currency kind of on a tick chart goes sideways like that and breaks out, put your stop underneath the low here. And you can see the bars got really green, pulled back a little bit, started to go back up again. At that point, I'd yank my stop up here. So you have a very tiny risk, five, six, seven pips. And usually, you know, when the longer term trends uh, strong like that, you'll get at least two waves up as a profit target. You know, if the weekly monthly trend were down, you wouldn't want to do this, obviously. But this is a decent place to get out, somewhere near the first and second FIB target. So it hit the first FIB target and went sideways. I'd get out of half there, went up a little bit past the second FIB target, went sideways. I get out of the second half here. So you're in this trade down here, buying the FIB target down there. You're uh, in at 25, out of half at 58, right? So let's just say you had, you know, 28 pips on the first half, and you know, um, 35 pips on the second half. So you netted over or approximately 30 pips on that trade while risking 5 to 10 pips. And on that short earlier, let's uh, scroll back, you know, when the price came down to this uh, Fibonacci retracement level and it broke it and price broke down here. Again, it was very likely to go down, you know, somewhere between 40 and the 20 area where the Fib targets are. And our very fast tools you know, show you statistically how much uh, of the euro pairs are going down. The pairs are getting stronger on a bar by bar basis. You know, certainly as it came down and kind of ran out of steam and double bottom right here, you could exit half your trade on this pullback right here. You'd want to, you know, yank your initial stop, which might have been, you know, maybe over this little swing high here. Again, very low risk. If the trades don't work, you lose little. In this case, the first half, you know, made you maybe 20 pips, and then. As we said before, usually currencies move to the to the next you know wave, which is down here, and it pretty much stayed red all the way down. You had a counter trend buy signal right here. You're out of your trade at 26. You know I might not have waited for that second fib target later to get uh, hit.
you know. So using the currency meter, uh, also if you look at the FX total view, it really you know adds to your probability. In this case, the euro yen had a seven plus day up move in a row, seven days or more uh, going up, up, up every single day. Usually after four days up, you get a reversal. So you know obviously yen pairs do the earthquake and tsunami and you know the disaster uh, you know cause above average uh, you know size of move up and above average um, number of days consecutively up but the currency meter is an excellent tool for um, you know spotting these trades uh, if you saw some weakness today in the euro uh, it made sense to trade it against the completely oversold and likely to rebound yen um, another currency that was weak earlier in the day yeah, not quite only for a couple hours was the pound uh, so you certainly could have uh, sold the pound yen also this one came up to the hourly right here there's no real support until down here down here and down here so you know looking at a tick chart at that time um, you know it really gives you confidence to hold your trades uh, and also enter your trades. Let's scroll back, you know, notice this one here, explosive drop here, and there really wasn't, even though this is an ultra fast, this is the fastest trend tool in the world, notice how it went green right here, right near the bottom, you know, it went red here, uh, it's extremely fast, it went green here and stayed all the way up here. This is the fastest tool uh, ever invented for forex trading, it's mostly for scalping, looking for 5 to 15, occasional 20 pip moves, as you see here, it also sometimes finds 30 and 40 pip moves, uh, you know, but if you were to sell this, you know, earlier today, your initial stop might have been right over the swing high. So you're risking maybe 10 pips in this case. Pulled down a little bit your way. The bars are really red. Uh, and then when it pulled back, the bars really weren't that green. But you still want to yank your stop down. At this point, you're risking 3 pips. Uh, and then it came down here and kind of went sideways. I would have got out of half my trade there and, you know, then moved my stop down. But we made about 10, 15 pips. Uh, not 10 pips. We made 10. 20 pips on the first half, then you want to draw your uh, fibs on there, and usually at the second fib target, it's a good place to get out. So it, you had severe dark red bars here, so you might have held a little bit longer, and then the bar went green right here, and you're out of 69. So you made an extra three pips by using our ultra fast tool, because you have the confidence to know that this thing switches trend color very fast. So if it stays red, it means other pound pairs are still going down. Don't freak out. Don't get out you know even though it's a major support area or likely support area don't get out now if you want to be a trend trader and you see you know the pounds weak and it makes a lower low like that usually it's going to retrace to the 38 or 50 percent retracement here's a 50 percent retracement here's another way you could use it wait for the retracement don't get short at the 50 percent retracement uh, you know I've lost a lot of money in the past myself doing that wait for price to confirm it you know and usually it's wait for it to break these lows and in this case wait for it to break these lows and you know the bar to turn red and then you get into that trade and obviously it may not go below the low down here at 68 but you're short up here at 80 87 and you can see even if you got out when it went sideways right here uh, at 76 you made 10 pips you know it's a pretty easy way to to make 10 pips came back up to the 38 percent retracement again give it a little bit of time to you know go back to here or higher and when it doesn't you go short again and notice you know it pulled back and now this pair went up but other pound pairs are going down and yen pairs are uh, you know strong at this time that's why it didn't really change direction so if you know there's no just because this tool's fast doesn't mean if you see a sideways move like this you don't want to get out when it goes above those bars high because every once in a while it's going to be a little bit late uh, in switching you know and getting you know you don't want to get back too much profit if you're only up you know 10 measly pips in a, in a pair Let's scroll forward in today. You know, the CAD very strong today. Uh, the Euro was extremely weak uh, most of the day. So you certainly, you know, at 4 o'clock here, uh, could have sold the Euro CAD too. This is not a pair that most of us trade, but let me type the Euro CAD on here. Uh, you can see coming up to 4, this price broke underneath the hourly, uh, went sideways there. Sideways breakouts once currencies break the hourly. Notice this also had a retest. If you're a really aggressive trader, and you were expecting this and waiting for this to drop broke the hourly came back up and retested it wasn't able to get back above the hourly great place to go short with a super super tight stop and when it breaks the low here you know 
that you know you have a high probability trade here's your next profit target down here at 3705 if you had shorted that up here uh, you know you have about a 46 pip profit while risking 10 pips that's really the only secret to trading small losses big wins uh, and if you uh, the math behind your trading allows you to do you know get bigger wins than your losses uh, you should trade well